Hello, I'm Irina Zaharina, and the world's view on smoking cigarettes has changed dramatically over the past years. The habit was once seen as cool, sexy, and fun, and it was promoted and glamorized in popular culture. Today, it is seen as a nasty habit that can harm you and others around you. It seems these days, smokers are considered to be antisocial and often frowned at when smoking in crowded places. So, should smoking be banned? My name's Harrison Cantel, I'm 24 years old and I've been smoking since the age of 14. 100,000 people die each year in the UK due to smoking. Smokers die 10 to 15 years younger. I've been smoking since the age of 14, so 10 years. I was pressured but I'd say I was more bullied into doing it. But yeah, it wasn't until I was about 17, 18 when I really started smoking, you know, 20, 30 a day. Um, yeah, which is taking its toll now. Blood pressure rises by 10 to 15 percent, increases risk in heart attack and stroke. Started smoking the same time I started boxing um, at 14, and I didn't really notice any major side effects until the age of about 16, 17. I started getting wheezy during training, even at home when I was going up the stairs, long distance walks, everything like that. Um, and then I thought, you know what, it might just be because I'm getting older, you know, my lungs, whatever. It might be secondhand smoke affecting me. Um, I went to the doctors and he said, you know, you need to stop, your lungs are clogged up with tar. Um, in boxing, I wasn't performing half as well as I was when I started. Um, and that meant, that meant I had to slow down, you know, I'd have breaks, big old five, ten minute breaks during training, um, just to catch my breath back, so. The oxygen level is reduced in your body because the carbon monoxide produced when you smoke tricks the body into thinking that it's oxygen. Problem is that your body cells need oxygen so your heart goes into overtime to supply it. If you continue to smoke, your senses slowly fade away. No, I don't think so. I think um, it's a choice, it's a right, and that um, if you take away that right, then what other rights can they take away? And yes, it's harmful to people, but if you're old enough and you do it in a safe way and you don't smoke around children in public places, then no, it should still be here. Uh, yes, it should, but nowadays you can't do anything because uh, a, lot of a lot of people are smoking and uh, uh, it's, they are addicted to, to it. Yeah. No, it shouldn't be banned. It should be up to the person who's buying them. It's their own free will at the end of the day. It's legal and it's there to buy. It is true that smoking is harmful to health, but nowadays everyone is aware of the consequences, so an individual must make a choice. He or she has to decide to smoke or not, it is their own problem. Banning smoking can create chaos in the economy of a country, and a lot of people will be losing their jobs. Hi, yeah, my name's Cameron Campbell, I'm 20 years old. I don't like particularly like smoking at all. Uh, I don't see the appeal in it at all. It's disgusting, it makes your clothes smell bad, it turns your people have nicotine stains on the fingers. So no, never appealed to me. When I was in school, a lot of kids used to smoke and say, oh yeah, come to the backfield, come and have a cig, do you want a cig, buy one off me, you know, at parties, everyone like, oh, you're coming out for a cig, you know. There's a lot of pressure there in social aspects, but 
No, not really. I'd rather stay in and stay warm and stay dry. I'd go to parties, I'd be offered them, and also when I bought people cigarettes, they'd, off they'd often offer me, you know, one or two cigarettes to say thank you for getting them. Um, and I guess that's just where it started, you know, one or two a day at school, sneaking behind the sports hall, and then parties and stuff like that, so... Social situations, they will like if, oh, you could like I said, like you come out for a cig, and if I say no, why, why are you not coming out for a cig? Because I don't smoke, or just try and smoke, just you know, have one. And they always refuse, and people are well, you know, tut and say, oh, well, that's sure problem. And if you want to stay inside on your own, then stay inside on your own. But yeah, I still need problems of hard with not smoking. I'd say I'm addicted now. I mean, it's been 10 years, you know, it's not. It's not a case of I can wake up in the morning and say, oh, you know what, I'll just chuck these cigarettes where I don't need them anymore, because I do. Um, and it's, it's more the psychological thing as well. Um, I get stressed. You know, I'm working full time on the doors. I get stressed out, so I have to have a cigarette. Um, but it is psychological, I'd say. It's not the cigarette, it's not the fact you need the cigarette to de stress you. It's more the fact that in your mind, your mind is telling you that you need a cigarette to de stress you. I smoke from time to time, but just occasionally social smoking. And um, basically, I don't think I don't think it should be banned. I think everybody should do whatever he or she feels like doing. But maybe there should be more work into the ways that uh, smoking in the in the reduce the reducing of smoking. Cigarette smoking needs to be banned because it affects the health of the smoker, the health of a non-smoker, and the environment. My name is Alex Edwards, I'm 21 years old and I'm an ex-smoker. I was really close with my uncle as a kid and he was quite a heavy smoker and um, I respected him a lot as a man and then I used to see him smoking and thought, yeah, that's the cool thing to do, I want to be like him. So I thought I'd just get into it. Around about 16 years old, I was just towards the end of school, just got into smoking here and there, one or two a day, and then it all ended up catching up on me then. I was struggling playing football at the time at around 17, 18, after about a year of heavy smoking. And uh, just every morning, like, bad chest, stuff like that, I couldn't seem to shoot. I thought it was a cold, I wouldn't blame the cigarettes, but just in denial, really. And then in the end, I thought, yeah, it must, it must be the cigarettes. I have actually, it was um, it was my coach that first said it to me. Um, he, he came down on me like a ton of bricks. He said, you know, you can't be smoking, you know, in this sport. You know, I've, I've noticed you're not performing well. And that's when I thought, oh, you know what? I can't, I can't do both. I can't carry on boxing if I'm smoking. Um, so that was when I first tried quitting. I uh, quit for two months. I was using an e-cigarette, you know, an electric cigarette. Um, and uh, it just wasn't the same because all my mates were still smoking around me. And then obviously when I went out on nights out, I'd be drinking. So I'd need a cigarette. So that electric fag just didn't really do me any favours. So I, I carried on smoking. <laughs> Stopped smoking about a year ago now when I was 20 years old. And um, it's probably one of the best things I've ever done. I feel a lot better for myself now. I feel a lot fitter. And uh, it's a lot easier on the pocket, it saves me quite a lot of money. My uncle got really ill from the cigarettes, that same uncle that made me start smoking, and um, he ended up getting lung cancer from it and was really bad, and he, he had to go into surgery and stuff like that with it, and um, he didn't quite pull through, so. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm Azazali, and this was a documentary on whether smoking should be banned, but I'll leave that with you.